This is a fantastic story, fellas. Two Yankees playing in the house that Ruth built, both going after his record. It's great for baseball. Holy cow! There it goes! Back to the wall! There was a time when baseball's home run record really meant something. It was mythical. Babe Ruth hit 60 home runs in 1927, hitting more home runs than 12 teams that year. Ruth's home run record stood for 34 years, until Roger Maris hit 61 home runs in 1961, though Major League Baseball shamefully put an asterisk next to Maris's record. The Babe had set the record during a 154-game season, while Maris broke the record during a 162-game season. Maris also broke the record in a season following expansion, further angering baseball purists who felt he didn't deserve to be labeled the home run king. The steroid era made discussions of the record even more controversial. Mark McGuire and Sammy Sosa shattered the record in the memorable 1998 season when McGuire hit 70 home runs and Sosa hit 66. Barry Bonds followed that with an amazing 73 in the 2001 season. But the steroid scandal exposed McGuire, Sosa, and Bonds, making a mockery of the home run record. This context helps explain why so many wanted to crown Aaron Judge as the true holder of the record with his 62 home runs in the 2022 season. 61 is a historical drama that tells the story of Roger Maris and Mickey Mantle as they chased the Babes record in the 1961 season. Mantle was already a legend in the minds of most baseball fans, while Maris was the new kid on the block in New York, even though he won the MVP in 1960 in his first season as a Yankee. The film brilliantly chronicles the home run chase and the pressure it put on Maris and Mantle, particularly Maris. Director Billy Crystal captures this iconic time in baseball history when baseball was the national pastime and the Yankees ruled the baseball world. The story centers around the unique characters of Mantle and Maris and their personal friendship and their interactions with teammates and the press. The casting of this film is superb. Barry Pepper as Roger Maris and Thomas Jane as Mickey Mantle carry the film with memorable performances as the two sluggers. Pepper is simply brilliant as the stoic and honorable Maris who feels uncomfortable with the media's and public's obsession with the record chase. Jane is equally compelling as the charismatic but troubled mantle. It certainly helps that both actors look remarkably similar to the famous ballplayers, but both give us nuanced performances that seem to capture the essence of both men. The press is cast as the villain in this film, with brutal stories taking Maris' words out of context, while also providing context to the pressure the sports writers face in an era where when multiple beat writers followed the team and battled for scoops. Some writers headed out for, for Maris from the beginning, while others turned on Maris when he wouldn't or couldn't give them what they needed for their stories. As the season unfolds, Maris struggles to handle the pressure, giving the press plenty of fodder to cast him as the villain as he gets closer to the Babes record. He's a quiet man of few words who's uncomfortable in the spotlight. He gets hate mail from fans, even kids, and starts to, starts to lose his hair towards the end of the season. Yet he continues to perform and blast home runs. Mantle, on the other hand, handles the press with ease. He's comfortable being the biggest star in the city, and he loves indulging in booze and the attention of women but his fast-paced lifestyle starts to catch up to him. The growing friendship between these two men anchors the film. They're polar opposites in many ways, yet they forge a bond around shared experience that's hard to appreciate for most of us who've never faced the intense media spotlight. The film was released in 2001, shortly after McGuire's and Sosa's record-breaking season, but before Bonds blasted 73 and the steroid scandal broke. The story is told in the context of the Maris family reacting to the record being broken while Maris's wife relives the 1961 season. The aftermath of McGuire's record-breaking season also seems like a distant memory today in the post-steroid era and uh, the 2022 season's milestone by Aaron Judge. Maris's family was very respectful of McGuire in the film, 
while that has naturally changed over the years. Roger Maris Jr. stated that Judge was the actual single-season home run champ in a clear shot at McGuire. Hollywood has produced some excellent baseball movies over the years, and 61 ranks right up there with the best. In many ways, it comes across as a nostalgic look back at the glory days of Major League Baseball, while also providing a nuanced portrayal of Maris and Mantle and the challenges they both faced during their dramatic chase of the babe. It's an excellent film. We highly recommend it. If you love baseball, you have to see this movie, but it's really a great film for anyone.